Okay, welcome to these couple of tutorials to show you how to do a couple of analysis and um, visual diagrams in Ecotect. First off, I'm going to start with the model that I'm going to bring into Ecotect. This is a, a Rhino model, but you can make this in any other software. There's just some important um, aspects when you export it so that Ecotech can properly read it, but I will go over these. So this is um, a piece of our office building. I um, model a 20-foot column bay, and then we have the 42-foot uh, uh, 5 inches depth of the office floor plate, and that back wall is actually the wall of the core. So we, we don't want to model the whole building, we just want to have a column bay, and then I have a 5-foot module on either side. <coughs> so the um, the pieces that I have are what you see on the screen and then I modeled mullions every five feet. I also have a um, generic design that I'm going to use for this exercise. You are, of course should use your own design. So I have a solid uh, portion of the facade two feet from the ground and two feet from the ceiling and then I have a window in between. And you can see how I modeled this. The um, the mullions have depth, they're 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 objects and the solid pieces as well. But the windows are just planes, okay? There's no need to model the depth of that. In fact it's only gonna you know create problems in Ecotect. If if it's a, a window it can be just modeled as a thin layer, a surface. I'm also going to test um, the effectiveness of light shelves. So I have two light shelf options. An exterior light shelf that is actually located and sized as per the guidelines. And I also have an interior light shelf also sized and located as per our guidelines. Okay, So I'm going to basically have three options just the windows, the windows with the exterior light shelf, and the windows with interior light shelves. And those three options are, is what I'm going to compare. Okay, I also have, um, f in order to do a daylight calculation, I have to be able to close off this model. So I have two sidewalls, so this is essentially a box. But I'm going to open these again so we can see what's going on. And just for visual purposes I have two scale figures in there. Right, okay. Now we're going to export this 3D model as a DXF and I'm going to read that DXF into Ecotect. It is important that this model is a very simple model. Uh, otherwise, Ecotech is going to uh, make mistakes when it's going to try to rebuild this DXF. For example, what I mean by simple model is, you know, for this exterior wall, I didn't, I modeled everything as essentially boxes with three dimensions, right? This mullion, this, this mullion right here is a box, three dimensions, height, width, and depth. So these panels here. I did not join the mullions with the um, with the base panels. I could, you know, easily boolean this into one object, um, but that would not give us a clean result in Ecotech. So keep these objects very simple, and rather, you know, just add them on into this 3D model. It's gonna you're gonna have a better result in in Ecotech. So I'm going to select everything I want to get out here and I'm going to export selected Rhino to Ecotech DXF. <coughs> now this is important uh, everything has to be exported as a mesh. So right now where it uh, you want to create a new export scheme you call it mesh and you want surfaces to be written as meshes. So this is this is actually crucial. 
save it. Okay, I'm just gonna test whether this actually worked. Okay, surfaces as meshes and meshes as meshes. That's that should work. Um, just don't change anything here unless you have problems in Ecotact with the triangulation. Okay, now this is exported. Now we're actually going to um, import 3D CAD geometry in Ecotact. We're going to the Rhino to Ecotact. Um, and this is this is actually pretty important here. First of all, these two fields have to be clicked auto merge triangles and remove duplicate faces. You have to scale it from feet to millimeters. This is because the Rhino model was in feet and everything in Ecotech is actually in millimeters, at least um, for the program. You you ha you may have feet as the uh, visible unit, but the actual program calculates everything in millimeters. So just make sure that feet to millimeters. Or if your original model was modeled in inches, you would do inches to millimeters, but we have feet to millimeters. Um, right here you can see all the layers, the separate layers and those have to be translated into zones. Ecotact has zones essentially, not layers. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to go here to zone. I'm going to say make a zone by item name. So now each of these that used to be layers in Rhino are now zones in Ecotact. And we also want to change the material of all the materials to a generic material that we're going to say is a panel. It's not important right now why it's a panel, it's just a simple material. Where one material though, the glass, we actually want to change to a window. We're going to bring it in and it came in nice and crisp. Okay. We actually do have all the layers here. Now they're actually called zones here and this is the zone zone management tab. You can see all the layers and you can turn turn them off. All right, we have it all in here. We can change how this all looks in the visualization settings, but we have everything came in clean. Okay, before we start in Ecotect, I just want to give a quick overview of the interface. First of all, in order to to zoom like this, uh, to uh, rotate like this, you have to right click your mouse and then move the mouse. If you also press press the right click and control, you can move around like this. And if you right click and press shift, you can zoom in. Okay, so with these three, you should be able to move wherever you want to move. If we're looking on the all the way on the left, there's a couple of tabs. There's a project tab, which is where you can locate the um, the geographical location and uh, a north offset. Right now we're in Perth, in Australia. The 3D editor is where you can um, modify the model. For example, if you select one of those faces and you go to on the right here to the selection information, you can see that this is a on the zone back wall. It's a panel. The material is cork at the moment. We'll talk more about materials later. Visualize tab is where you create the um, the diagrams, the renderings. Um, and then if you continue down here on the left side, analysis is where you can do thermal analysis, solar radiation analysis, uh, and you can generate all sorts of reports. On the right, uh, we have the zone management. That's essentially your layers. You can turn on and off layers. Then we have material. So if I actually select this back wall that right now is cork, I can turn it into plywood very easily here. I'm gonna leave it for now. Uh, a couple of display settings, whether you can see the north point, whether you can see um, the, the X, Y, Z axis, um, visualization settings is where you can change the look of of your of your rendering. You can you know give it different colors, and um, you can play around with this. Sketchy lines, um, extend line ends to get this kind of sketch look. I'm not a big fan of that, but that's a personal preference. 
you can also make a cutaway section which is kind of kind of cool in different um, different axes right, so this can be nice if you actually want to see a cutaway plan Shadow settings is where you turn on the shadow and you can also display the daily sun path or the whole annual sun path and you can move your mouse around and change times of the year and times of the day. Okay, You see the sun is actually coming from the north because we're in Australia. We're going to change that later. <coughs> 